In this SNP, we're going to look at how to backup and restore a virtual machine in Azure. So the first thing we're going to need to do is go to the Azure portal and create a recovery services vault. Now we can either click on the left hand side on recovery services vaults or go up to all services and search for recovery services vaults. So if we click on that, click on add at the top, we can create a new test vault. And I'm going to use an existing resource group and I'm going to make this in West Europe where my virtual machines are. So if I click on create, that vault will start to create. Once the vault is created, we click on refresh, we should see our new vault down there. So if we click on that, we should see a plus backup button at the top here. So if we click on that, we can add in some virtual machines to backup. So my workload here is running in Azure, so I'm going to leave that set as Azure here at the top. And it's a virtual machine that I want to back up. So I'm just going to click on backup at the bottom here. And I could choose a default policy, but I want to create a new policy. So click on create new. Give the policy a name. So I'm going to call this one daily. And the backup frequency is going to be daily. And I can set my time here. So I'm going to set this for midnight. UTC. And I can also adjust the retention period here. So I'm going to set this instead of 180 days. I'm going to set it to 31. I'm going to leave the weekly backups for 12 weeks and so on and so forth. So I'm just going to scroll to the bottom here and go OK. So now that I've got a new backup policy, I can select a virtual machine that I want to back up. So the only one I've got in the list here is test VM1, so I'm going to use that. So tick that and click OK. And finally, click on Enable Backup at the bottom. So once the deployment has succeeded, we can close this down, go back to our backup vault and if we scroll down the list here we should see backup items and under azure virtual machines we've got one item if we click on that we'll see that we've got our test vm1 uh, the pre-check is passed if we click on this we'll see the backup is waiting the initial backup so we can click on backup now in order to trigger that click ok at the bottom here and that will trigger that initial backup so if we go back to our recovery services vault and scroll down the list here, we should see backup jobs. So we'll see that test VM here, backup is now in progress. And that will sit there for quite a while, uh, taking the snapshot to start with and then transferring the data into the vault for you. And eventually we'll complete. So once we've got some virtual machines in our vault, if I go to our other vault here, test vault and look down the list, Go to backup items. I've got two virtual machines here in the list. If I go onto those two virtual machines, I've got VM02 and VM03. I can click on the three dots on the right hand side here and restore my VM. So in the first section, I get a list of all the recovery points. I'm going to select the last one here. I'm going to click on OK. And the restore type here, I'm going to create a new virtual machine for it, but you could just restore the disks and mount those if you wanted to. I'm going to call this test VM to restore. I'm going to give it a resource group to restore it into and a virtual network and a subnet. And also at the bottom here, I need to create a staging location for it to use whilst it's restoring the data. So I've got one here that I've pre-created and then just click on OK at the bottom and click on restore. So that will trigger the restore of this virtual machine. So if we go back to our recovery services vault and look for backup jobs, we'll see that we've got a restore in progress here at the top of this list. So if we click on that, we'll see all the details of that restore and the status of it at the bottom there. So now we just need to wait for this machine to be restored. So now that our VM is restored completely, if we go over to look at our virtual machines, we should see we've got the original test VM2 and a new test VM2 restore. So if we click on that, we can now connect to it. And there we have a fully restored test VM from our backup. So the last thing to look at, if we go back to our recovery services vault and scroll down into the settings, we should see backup alerts. So if we go in there, it's fairly simple to create a email alert if something happens in the backup. 
So I simply need to turn on email notifications and put in an email address, click on the severity of the alerts I want to get. In this case, I'm just going to select everything and whether I want it per alert or an hourly digest, and then click on save. Now we should get an alert every time one of these critical warning or informational alerts happens. And that has been how to backup and restore an Azure virtual machine. And thanks for watching.